Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry and this is part um, four of my clear stamp storage and share. And we're going to, hello Garfield, sorry I have a cat attacking my foot. We're going to start with this binder that I have labeled travel. Um, but it's actually like country specific I guess. Um, so first we have like Paris. 500 examples of the Eiffel Tower. So then we kind of go into London. These are more kind of like Italy, I guess. I don't know. They make me think Italy, but. And then we go into Asian, Far East. So these are um, like five by seven page protectors um, that are open at the top. Um, I got them off Amazon. And then I also bought um, five by seven cardstock that was already pre cut. Um, and then I also got the binders off of Amazon. Um, which I bought a, I think they come in like a box of 10 and I bought two sets. Um, I will put the links um, in the description box for the binders, the pocket protectors, page protectors, and the pre-cut card stock. So if you are interested in using this method, you'll be able to find the supplies that I used. So, this doesn't really go with Asia, but since the sushi one was here, I put this here. I don't know. It's it's mostly bread, you know. It's food. Wheat, bread, and then there's a windmill. I don't know. I've said in previous videos how I feel like I might need to um, do a food and drink binder. So... Okay, I've got some stencils here in the back. So, well, this is Paris and London. And this is Bangkok and Sydney, Australia. And then we have Rome and Greece. And that's it. So, um, with the stencils, I use either mica powders or paint. Um, which you can do before baking on the clay. You can absolutely do paint. Um, or the mica powders, which also needs to be done before baking. So. Alright, so that's travel. I guess I could call it like world or something, but I don't know. Right now it's called travel. So. Oh gosh, I'm running out of room. Okay. And this next one is called Vintage. A lot of these, if you watched the planning process of my pink bedroom hexagon box project that is still in progress, you would have seen a lot of these stamp sets. But um, this used to be combined with the travel, but then the binder got too big, so I had to split it into two. So this is mostly what I kind of consider vintage and steampunk to some extent. So, let's see, here's another one where there's hot air balloon in a car and wine <laughs> and a musical instrument. So, it could go in four different binders, but this is where I put it. So, all right. And again, some uh, page protectors with the opening on the side because these are too long to fit in the 5 by 7 So, and I don't want to cut them. Okay, and then in the back, a 
couple of big sets. So see that particular stamp has books. It could go in the book section. But because it's got locks and gears, it goes in here for vintage steampunk. So, all right. And as you can see, I've got room to grow. So, all right. And then this one is, it's just labeled stamps. And it's just kind of mostly texture-like, filler and texture. So, patterns, that kind of thing. So, I love these ones this with the strips. I'm going to sneeze, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bless me. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I really like using gold or silver ink with these and then doing them on a colored clay. Um, and then you can cut them down to fit where you need them to fit. So someday when I don't have anything to do, that'll probably be a project I do where I just pull out bags of open clay and just do a bunch of these in different colors. So and some more, again, like strip items. These are kind of neat. I don't know that I've ever used any of them, though, because they're kind of big. I mean, there really isn't a way to cut them down. But for bigger mosaics, they would work well. Right. Yeah, little hearts. I haven't used that one yet. It's a new one. Just acquired it. Okay. We well, got, yeah, like, brick wall and honeycomb and... Polka dots. Got some stars, some swirlies. I need to do cut down a piece of white cardstock to back the backs of these. But um, these are only, I don't have front and back for these. It's just the front. So. here. I don't know how well that's showing up. Sorry. But that's just, uh, just, it's just a random binder of just stamps. So, and then one more for this video. This last one is labeled Variety. Um, it has just, I don't know, we'll see as we go. So these first two were just such a hodgepodge that I didn't know where to put it. Um, so they went in here. And there's like a chair with a cat sleeping on it. We had a teddy bear stack of pancakes. I mean, when I say hodgepodge, it's hodgepodge. So, so that's where it is. And then these are different, like, landscapes. But it's all one. This is interesting. So, it's like acrylic, right? And they're, like, glued down. So, um, so I have to like use the whole stamp and then cut the clay. So, yeah, kind of an interesting, I didn't realize that when I ordered it. Okay, we got some, uh, just some um, script. All right, and then we've got like strips here where it's music notes and bows, fish, Mushrooms, cactus, cacti, um, flags and flowers. And then this is just some, a few little random ones that were just loose in a 
grab bag that I got. So there's not part of a set. And there's like a coffee cup, a palm tree, some hearts, some stars, a dollar sign. Yeah, kind of weird. Anyway, these are planner stamps. Um, but, you know, for filler to have options like there's little champagne glasses. I've used the TV and the computer. Um, there's bicycles, cat and dog, paw print. I would use that one quite a bit. Um, cooking items, kitchen items. Um, ambulance and so stuff that if I was doing like a nurse or doctor theme, it would work for that. Things like that. So um, some more of these strips. Yeah, like stars with paper airplanes. There's teapot, teacups, fruit, dog with dog food. There's dog faces with dog food, bowls with bones in it. There's a little hearts one. Snowflakes, ice cream. Here's butterflies and bees. That's cute. I don't think I've ever used that one. Um, some stars and the moon, some flowers. This is a cat with paw print and fish bones, some more hearts, leaves, and some kind of ornaments. And then over here, similar thing. Some little lace ones and stuff, coffee cups, bows, music notes, and then just some texture. Patterns, I guess, not texture. Oh, there's this one rogue strip right there. And I've got some like inchy stamps that are hmm, birds, bugs, and flowers primarily. And then just some random patterns. Kind of filler options. Some swirlies and arrows. Some kind of mandala and paisley patterns. Some flowers, stripes, strips, whatever. Here's some waves, flowers, snowflakes, butterflies, leaves. And just some kind of lacy, florally kind of patterns. And then back here I have a few random sets that were given to me. Or were not given to me, but that came in a grab bag that I bought. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to keep them. But for right now, they're in here. There's, like, I think I just kept this one just for the suitcases. But I have other stamps that have that on there now. Um, and then there's, like, one weird monster. But I have monster sets now. So, I don't know. Some more just kind of hodgepodge. Randomness furniture looks like mostly. Okay. Yeah, this is like you're the you're the real deal. Won't chew chew haha uh -huh, like chewing gum be mine. Our friendship is perfect. We make quite the pair haha. Uh -huh. You're totally awesome. Yeah, so. Kind of cheesy Valentine's Day kind of stuff, so. I don't know. They're back here. They may get used. They may never get used. I don't know. So. I don't know. Like. Stamp set to build a house, basically. So. Alright, so that's what this one is. And so these are... The vintage travel and miscellaneous, basically. Um, I think I already said this, but in case I didn't, I will put the links in the description for the binders and the page protectors and the cardstock. All right, and then I'll be back here shortly with what I believe is going to be part five. Thanks so much for watching.